winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Well, good morning everyone Um busy day today. Uh, we got lots going on. I'm homeschooling the kids and they have gym class today and I gotta get breakfast going here right away. And we're doing dishes and laundry and just getting everything done today. <laughs> Do you want down? Okay. Okay, Clara wanted down. She's getting wiggly. But, um, also, I'm gonna be doing a crock pot meal that I'm gonna be trying out today with chicken and potatoes and stuff. It should be pretty good. Um, so I'll share that with you guys. So yeah, busy day. We're gonna be getting it all done. I hope this is motivating as well as maybe a little bit entertaining. So um, let's get to it. So this is after breakfast now and these two are crazy as ever. Clara thought that I was taking a picture so she was trying to pose for it but they were both just knocking each other off and having so much fun. And this is kind of the craziness of my life every single day with these two. But Carly was nice enough after this to help me out with the dishes. It's really nice having kids that are so willing to help out around the house because honestly there is just way too much for me to do all by myself so I really appreciate the help. Also my other kids, my older two, were cleaning up the living room while we were doing this and then I also went and wiped off the dining room table. So we were getting the whole area clean before our homeschool today and it's really nice to have the area cleaned before we start school. Just it makes it flow so much better when we have a clean area. Walk me in the morning sun. Tell me I'm a lucky one. that I could be brave is there anything good on the radio turn it up loud and let me know how we used to be before anyone heard of you and me Take it to a better day A rocking chair and a glass of wine In the shade of a tree and I'm feeling fine There's not a lot to ask When life is going by so fast One breath away Step up and say
tidied up the main areas in the house. We're going to start with our homeschool for the day. The younger two did make a pillow fort in the living room earlier and they kind of tidied it up, but it's still a little bit of a mess, but who cares because you can't live in perfection all the time anyways. So for homeschool today, we are working on our Asia unit study. This is Gather Round Homeschool. This curriculum is by Rebecca Spooner. She runs the YouTube channel Homeschool On. She's amazing and I love all of her stuff. She's a homeschooling mom of five and she just keeps it real, which is what I really like. Um, my kids really like to work on these flags. We use them as flashcards so that they're learning all the flags of Asia, which is really neat. And I'm learning a lot of these flags because I didn't even know most of them, except for maybe China and Japan. Those are like the only ones that I knew right off the top of my head. So anyways, yeah, so we're gonna be working on this today. And then the kids each have their own um, workbooks that they work on afterwards so that like Carly just has like little sentences she has to write and then Katie and Connor are doing like essays and things like that and they're just learning about all of these countries we usually learn about an animal that comes from the country and I put on a little YouTube video often about whatever animal we're learning about and they usually really like that so it's a lot of fun and we're gonna get to that now I once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back no going back, there's no going back to your own life I'm Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights working on their independent work which is their workbooks as well as their online math so while they do that I'm just gonna throw over a load of laundry I find that laundry is never ending in our house we always have so much of it and I'm always running behind so I take every little opportunity that I can to just throw a load over or fold a load so that I can try and keep up with it now and we're going to be working on our Mel science kit. We're doing the tin dendrite experiment where you watch a tin tree grow in a petri dish which is pretty neat. Nice. Now Clara you're a little too little to be working with chemicals. So instead I have Clara all set up here playing with her play-doh. She also has her hot dog next to her that she did not finish at lunchtime. So just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh. Okay, so the other day, I broke the zipper on my coat, which really sucks because where I live in Canada, it's going to be a little while until winter is over, so I needed to get a new coat. The thing is, a lot of coats are not on sale anymore. I did manage to find this one, however, on clearance, and I love it. It's bright yellow, which I love. I love the color yellow. It just makes me think of sunshine and brightness. But the thing is, this is a youth coat because I couldn't find anything in the adult section and I'm basically the size of a child anyways, so I just got the extra large in youth. Um, the thing is, on the sleeves, it has this thing here. It's a grow with me thing where, um, you know, it's for kids that have shorter arms and then they grow their arms out a little bit more and then you can adjust this. So I do have adult sized arms, which is nice. So I'm gonna just take the stitches out here so that 
then this coat will fit me properly. Yeah, so anyways, I'm just like basically a little kid, but whatever, I got a nice coat. You make me nervous. I think I might be hooked on you. I love the things you said, you said to me, to me it seems like you like me too. Can't take it slow, make sure we do this right. Cancelled all my plans to be with you tonight. Okay, so we are on our way to gym class now. Everybody got their gym shoes? Yes. All right, perfect, because sometimes we forget those. So we are back home now. Um, the kids are still at their gym class. It was literally like a five minute drive. I went and checked the mail as well, which only took like an extra 30 seconds to do. And in that time, Clara completely passed out in the car. So she's just out. She doesn't usually take naps anymore, but I guess she is today. So um, I'm gonna use this time to get the crock pot ready and I'll show you guys the recipe that I'm making for tonight. I got this recipe online here and I will link it below in case you guys wanna look at it right from the source. But I'm modifying it just slightly. So I have my crock pot here. And then for the sauce, it uses ketchup, soy sauce. Um, it said to use basil and um, oregano, and I didn't have that, but I have Italian seasoning, so I'm gonna substitute that. It also said to use red pepper flakes, and I have this bell pepper herb rub. I figure it's close enough. Then I have the honey. Um, also, it said to use garlic, and I just got this freeze-dried garlic. I figure that'll work. Okay, so then I got my potatoes. I'm gonna cut these up because it said to use baby potatoes, but I figure if I cut them up, that'll work just fine. Same thing said use baby carrots, but all I got are regular carrots, so I'll cut them up again. And then I got these chicken thighs, and I have some green beans. So, put that together now, and I'll show you what it's gonna look like in the crock pot. So the recipe called for half a cup of soy sauce as well as half a cup of honey, although I realized afterwards that I was using the quarter cup, so I had to just double up those and put another quarter cup of soy sauce and honey in. And then after that, I added in the rest of the ingredients and mixed it into the bowl. Can we walk away in the setting sun?
now that I had the sauce and the vegetables prepped, I added in six pieces of chicken. I think the recipe called for eight, but I only wanted to use six. And then I put in the vegetables and then layered over top of it the sauce. Now I'm not adding the green beans yet because I'm gonna add those when I have 45 minutes left. And then I just turned the temperature up to high, which is gonna take three to four hours to cook. you think and I know it's hard yeah I know it's rough but we'll make it through and I'll back you up You're going, I'm going to I'll follow. Right, we are back in the car again. I got these two going for haircuts right away. You guys want to see their hair now? I don't know if you can see Connor way in the back there. They are both in need of haircuts, very long overdue. So I'll show you guys the after cuts too. They're gonna look really cute. So we're gonna get on our way right now and I'll get back to you in a moment. Love my hair. It's so nice, huh? Yes, it's very nice. Always had it on for a long time, and I'm like, I actually want it short now. Well, it looks really good. Although I probably won't style it like that every day, but it looks <laughs> awesome. It's the middle of winter, so we thought, why not? Let's get a Slurpee. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, there's Connors. Look as snazzy as ever. Even I was in the mood for a Slurpee. So I got that, and then, Clara, you got a Slurpee too? Hey, Mommy, look at this. Yeah? An owl. Now it's Oh, did you get a little owl toy in your egg? Now it's toy. Perfect. All right, we're going to head home. Now that we're home from getting the kids haircuts, Carly and I are getting around to doing her reading out loud. I find that her reading out loud to me helps with her reading skills so much. So we try and do this every single day. And then when we were done with that, I'm doing the laundry. This is something that I was hoping to get done earlier in the day, but it just didn't happen. So I'm doing it now. Um, if you're wondering who I'm talking to, my husband is home from work now and he's on the couch. So I'm just chatting with him while I get a load of laundry done and I'm looking the other way as well sometimes because my kids are watching TV we got an Apple TV for um, Christmas and so the kids now have the Disney Plus which we are loving and we're watching it quite often I love Disney Plus because it has a lot of the old shows on it that I used to watch as a kid like Rescue Rangers and Tailspin so it's just a whole lot of nostalgia on there so I enjoy Enjoy watching that with the kids as well so I'm kind of going forth between chatting with him and then also watching Disney Plus in the other direction. Glasses? No. Then I guess you're not a cool hipster. The crock pot. 
pot has about 45 minutes to go now so I'm just going to give it a stir and then I'm going to add in the green beans. Once that was all done cooking, I took the chicken out and placed it on a pan and then set it in the oven to broil. Now I did not put it in the oven very long, you have to be really careful with this part to not stay in there too long. This was maybe two minutes because if you leave it in there too long it's going to burn. But just put it in there for a couple minutes and it gives it a really nice crispiness. Now this is probably the most beautiful meal that I have ever made. I am so proud of it and it tastes it delicious too so I highly recommend it I will leave the link for this recipe below I hope you guys enjoyed our day and I will see you next time